two kinds of listings. We have a traditional listing where a homeowner meets their agent, they discuss pricing and terms before listing it on the market. Uh, but we also have a non-traditional listing. These non-traditional listings are typically corporations who buy a property from a seller at a discounted price. They do like minor uh, repairs and renovation and they list it for a high price in the market. Um, in today's market, I am noticing we're getting a little bit of those non-traditional listings that are listed by these corporations. Uh, but what does this mean to you as a buyer? As a buyer, you need to be very cautious of dealing with these non-traditional listings because these are corporations, so um, they are using their own purchase contract. So when your uh, agent is helping you to make an offer, we are not understanding their, these contracts because it's not a contract that is being used in your state. So I highly recommend you hire a real estate attorney to make sure you understand all the clauses because typically uh, they are clauses there that is protecting the seller and not you as a buyer. So you can uh, give me a call if I can help you to understand. Uh, I am seeing a little bit of this kind of inventory here in Carmel Valley. For example, there is a great house here in Carmel Valley that is listed by this corporation, but it's been over three weeks and hasn't sold. And typically in our market, um, they sell within less than a week. Um, so if I can help you, give me a call. My number is 858 three four five zero six eight five i'm shooting rosania ramos with compass here in carmel valley at one paseo office thanks so much for watching and i look forward to hearing from you soon